Let's take a walk. One of the most natural things for bees to get into are trees. Hint, hint. They get into voids in the cavity of the tree as the tree dies, and they kind of grow as the tree decays and the holes expand. The company decided they wanted to do a little yard work while they had some downtime, and they found that they had dobbies. They gave me a call and said, hey, yeah, uh, we got some bees in the tree. Can you come and rescue them? And I went, I'm on my way. We got over here. We evaluated everything, took a good look at it, and said, yeah, this is going to be some fun. I want to share with my, my YouTube channel. We're going to grab a chainsaw here. We're going to cut this sucker up. We're going to save some bees. Well, you know, have some fun. What I'm going to attempt to do is try to open it up. I may have to use a repellent that I would commonly use in a scenario like this. I prefer to use a product called Honey Be Gone. Honey Be Gone is a product that comes out of Blythewood, South Carolina. A good friend of mine over the course of time because of the product I've gotten to meet and uh, consider him a great friend and family is Scott Derrick. Now this is funny. Scott first initially came out with Honey Be Gone, a product to help beekeepers to uh, harvest their honey. One product repels bees. Then a few years later he comes out with a product to attract bees. This is not a paid sponsorship. I'm just telling you what I have found that works for me. So I want to cut right in here. It's about the two foot mark. We'll get this out of the way. It'll lighten up the load over here. I'm not truly decisive yet on how I want to do up here. So that being said, you guys ready? I'm about to I'm about to rip that chainsaw up. So let's go. Check it out. Awesome scenario. Let me show you. We cut just high enough and we've got some bees that are kind of going up this direction, but can you see the comb, as new as what it is, the comb actually fell into itself. But look at all them bees. Now, the question is, when all this fell, did it did it collapse on the queen? That's a big, big conundrum. <clears throat> that is a huge, huge piece of comb. Wow. So this strip of comb was literally hanging in this position right there. So what I tell you, there's the top, there's the, the bottom of the hive. Whoop, got one piece collapsed down in there. What we've got to worry about whether she could get out from in between them when this thing fell. So best that I can tell is, is when it fell, it fell on this, it fell on this side right here, which then caused that comb to pancake. If, by chance, she was able to get out of there, then we're going to have a queen. This is one of those scenarios, guys, that can go either way as far as the queen goes. They're really, really content right now. I'm not complaining, and it doesn't seem like they are either. Let's go ahead and try to get some of this comb out of here. We're gonna capture some bees. We're just gonna go through the process and just work this thing down. We've got a great handful of bees down in there. I got one piece of comb that's attached and small where we'll deal with that we're going to go ahead and reduce our numbers down real quick somewhere in here is a great chance we still got a queen i'm not giving up yet i am not giving up yet what we're going to do is we're going to start down here we're going to go ahead and try to move some of these bees off and then we're going to just try to run them up around the top watch for her collect them as we go so let's see how it goes
Look at that. Look at that. Boys and girls, that's our queen right there. Oh, yeah. She made it. Go on. Go on. How's that? Right there. Now they're not going anywhere. Now we just finished collecting them up. That's where I put the swarm commander, which is all I wanted them to do is land right there. Bless it, bless it. She ended up, she made it through the fall. They got her took care of. Oh, this next, the next part of this is going to be a lot of fun. There we go. Nice. The bulk of the bees are out. And look at there. They've already found their queen. How awesome is that? So now we got a bunch of bees flying up here. They're all confused, don't know what's going on, right? Because I've sprayed some stuff over here, smoked them, so they're confused. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set them up a hive over here on that stump, and then we're gonna roll this up completely out of the way from their orientation circle, and we're just gonna put a little dab of Swarm Commander on it, and we're gonna let them find their queen, find the new home, and we're gonna come back here after dark and pick them up. Yeah! All right, so we had to get a little bit of new smoke, finish running them out we put our queen right here and I'm going to take one little just drop I'm gonna take one little drop of swarm commander and put it right down in here all right got that on there and probably one little one little bit right there away from the queen all right so let's get this chunk out of the way good deal watch this see they're flying around they're gonna figure out to come right back to here this is where the original was at great look at look at look at look at they are already figuring it out so I want them to use their front entrance so look out ladies every bee matters there you go look out come on look out move move get out the way now they'll have to figure out how to get in the front door over here which should not be too hard entrance is open all right, good deal. So we're just gonna, we're gonna let them figure it out. So this is where I sprayed the Swarm Commander earlier. However, the tree is awesome and empty. So we need to cover up that Swarm Commander smell and get these girls to finish flying. Come on, I need you up and off of here. Come on, come on. So that side's clear. Let's go ahead and move that over there while the bees gather on their new home nice one last little thing so this is the bees that we caught up and vacuumed out i'm going to go ahead and drop them out and they're going to go airborne do their little thing but you know what they're going to go right back up with the rest of them and yep they're flying they'll figure it out don't want to go in there these girls will fan they're fanning to let all them know, hey, come get in here. Well, that'll work for me. We'll come back later tonight, and they will have figured this out. The bees will be up in the box, and everybody's going to be doing good. So, yes. Thanks again for the company for uh, calling me. And, guys, thank you for checking out the video. So, here we go. Uh, one to the right, one to the left. And uh, check out another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, please give me, leave me some kind of a comment down there. Feed the algorithm. But until the next time, see ya!